So if you've considered buying the Condor Axe flights, or maybe even if you've already purchased them, you're gonna wanna watch this video. Let's get into it. Here we go. What's up guys, Worldwide here. So hey, we got a quick informational video for you today and it specifically has to do with, I got it right over here, the Condor Axe all-in-one molded flight system. Now, I'm quite sure there's a lot of you out there that already are aware of this. I've mentioned it in many other videos. However, there's a ton of new subscribers here and hopefully this video helps some of you guys that maybe had no idea and it's all gonna make sense here in the next clip. But I specifically picked out the Condor Axe for two, two reasons, two specific reasons. Firstly, these are made out of a very hard resin. They're just firm, it almost feels like a glass or a hard plastic. So again, that's the number one reason and it's gonna make sense here in the next clip. Now the other reason is just because of how popular these things are. I mean, you go to any dart shop in the world, they're pretty much out of stock on everything. Or if they do get in stock, they sell out pretty much overnight. And Matter of fact, these are becoming more and more popular in the professional ranks. The number two player in the world, Peter Wright, he's been seen using these things. The most prolific 180 hitter, Dave Chisnell, he's been using Condor Axe for quite a while now. Who else we have? We got Simon Whitlock's been using them. And I think a couple other lower ranked professional players have been seen using the Condor Axe. Other players have switched to the molded flight system of different companies, but yeah, these Condor Axe, super popular right now. So the tip that I'm about to give you, again, it's gonna make sense in this next clip. It's what you should do. You gotta do something to your barrels before you consider even buying these things or using them, or maybe you even bought them already and you're not quite getting a good experience from the Condor Axe. I'm gonna to try to fix that for you in the next clip. And again, should be kind of interesting. Here we go. Okay guys, you ready for this information? And uh, again, I hope this helps somebody and I'm gonna try to keep it quick because I can ramble on when I get excited about things. So I'm not sure where you guys get your darting information. It could be right here on YouTube, maybe Twitter, Reddit. I know Reddit's a huge place, maybe over on Facebook, but there's a lot of discussion about the Condor Axe stem flight combo. Now, what's gonna happen, someone's gonna go out and buy these things, they're gonna try them out and they're gonna end up not liking them at all. What's the number one complaint? Well, other than price, what's the number one complaint about the Condor Axe flight? Do you know? You know, right? Deflections. Not only deflections, because these things are so stiff, so rigid, almost glass-like, it's deflections on steroids. I mean, I've, I've thrown these things now for a few months, and, and yeah, they do have a point. You're going to see some crazy deflections. However, there's a simple fix, and I want to visually show you why you're getting these deflections. Now, check out this picture I'm gonna put up over here on my right. It's just a normal dart barrel, stock, straight barrel, tapered nose cone with a stock silver point on the front end. You see that white arrow? That's pointing to the lip on the front of the barrel where the point meets the barrel. It's that lip causing all these crazy deflections. That's the main reason for the deflections. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna have a dart or two already in the dartboard. The incoming dart that lip is gonna catch on the back of these rigid flights. It's gonna lose all momentum. Most likely the dart's gonna end up on the floor or it's gonna just shoot and take a crazy deflection. You could be thrown in the 20s. It's gonna end up in the 18 or again, most likely on the floor. So again, yeah, that lip is responsible, I would say for probably 95% of the deflections. It's insane the amount of damage this lip does. So ask yourself, is there a quick fix? Absolutely. Here's the same exact dart barrel. The only difference is I've added a specialty point to the front end. Now that specialty point eliminates the lip pretty much totally, 100% on most darts. There's a little tiny ridge on these darts. But yeah, you add a specialty point, and now when you have darts in the board, the incoming dart is simply going to glide past the other darts already in the board. It's going to end up in the target. And honest to God, guys, it's day and night difference. I wouldn't even bother making this video if I didn't think it made that big of a difference. But yeah, it's it's insane. And as a bonus, check this out. Your expensive Condor Axe flights or any other molded flights are gonna last 20, 30 times as long. I mean, it's, it's drastic, it really is. So there's two benefits. You're gonna eliminate deflections and your flights are gonna last longer. And check this out, guys. 
I'm gonna go as far as to say this. If you're thinking of using Condor Axe or any other molded flight system, I would not, I would absolutely not recommend you do that if your darts have the lip on the front end. So you have to eliminate that lip. There's a cheap way to do it. You can use the Trident 180 nose cones. That's a cheap temporary fix. If your points are really short, those Trident, the plastic Tridents are gonna get chewed up when they bash into the dartboard spider. But it is a quick fix. However, though, for a permanent solution, put on a specialty point on the front end of your darts and yeah, you're gonna really experience the best performance you can get from the Condor Axe flights or really any other molded flight system out there. So there's my tip for the day. I hope this helps somebody. I know there's a lot of new subscribers here. So yeah, let me know down in the comment section what you thought, if this is new information for you. And I guess that's it guys. We'll catch you on the next video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. See ya.